what is up guys war um boil here and we are playing war Fallout never Fortnite. changes i don't know why i said boil i just want to watch this i started this game i just want to play with in you in the year 1945 so we're gonna restart my great great grandfather serving in the army wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. Oh wow, what a computer. Then, Thanks, you. In the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. Oh, wow, we stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing. It's that war. War never changes. What an introduction. I, that's the second time listening to it, and every time it has really pulled me in, and I've really wanted to play this game. Okay, now we get the fun part, customizing my Mr. Poo Poo. War never changes. You're going to knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop I mean, I'm pretty hot. Right. Oh, that face, though. Like his hair, but Urban Ranger. Oh, that's pretty cool. Like Rebel. Nine to five. Pretty sexy. Better aggled. Casual cab. It's a pompadour. Alpha male. Alpha male is like those really big fat gamers. I can't say that I'm not one, but, um, I kind of like 9 to 5, but I'm going to go with Shaggy Shade. Hey, did you get a haircut yesterday? It's cute. You know I did. I like my nose. Mouth is fine. I like my stubble. Oh, I'm growing a neck beard. Um. Do I get rid of my neck beard? Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Um, no, I don't want to change room for it. Hair color. Jet black. Okay, that's pretty sweet. Steel gray. Gray, silver, white, bleach. You. Um. Deep brown, dark brown, brown, cool brown, chestnut brown. Deep red. Kinda like light brown, but I think I'm gonna go with chestnut brown. No, that doesn't really match it. Deep brown. I like jet nice black. Nice haircut. Go with that. Um, ears are fine. Um, I clean up pretty nice. 
What was I? What else did I want to do? Um, Tins, fine. Um, oh yeah, his eyes. I feel like I should change the color of his eyes. Your like eyes. Her. They're one of my favorite things about you. No, I don't actually really like them. So we're gonna go with Looking blue. good, if I do say so myself. And that's it. So. Oh. Style. Very thin. <laughs> I feel like we should do this. But I feel like we should do this. So we'll go with that. We're done. We're done here. Whoa, that's a robot. I forgot about the robot. Thanks, Kazuo. Insta mash, fancy lad snack cakes, Blamco mac and cheese. Expires in. Never. Really? It's so clever it hurts. Abraxo for all your cleaning needs. Hey, what's your name? Nora? Like your name, young man. You like your room, bud? <laughs> He'll either be great at spelling or great at smashing blocks together. Okay. Okay, I'm done with all this pointless stuff. We'll go like, do some other crap. I'll take a shower. Take a shower. Can't take a shower. Good to know. Can't take a shower in the future. Nuka Cola, ice cold. Saddle up Salisbury steak, graded A plus. Looks like the milk got delivered. So we're like stuck in the 1950s and. 2070. Oh, Grognac the Barbarian in the Jungle of the Bat Babies. My favorite. But uh, you never you picked know, it up. I was nervous at first, but Cosworth's really good with Sean. Hey, hon. Nervous? Don't be. Everyone's gonna love the speech. Can I read the newspaper? Hmm. More the Can same. You get that? It's oh, so that salesman. He comes for you every day. Hey, little man. Good morning. vault calling. vault -Tech? Remind me again? Why, we're about you, sir, and helping secure your future. You see, vault -Tech is the foremost builder of state-of-the-art underground fallout shelters. Vaults, if you will. Luxury accommodations where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. 
I'm here now. So you are. <laughs> so you are. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a, um, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Oh, that's cool. But there's room for my entire family, right? Of course, of course. Miner's your robot, naturally. In fact, you're already cleared for entrance. It's just a matter of verifying some information. Don't want there to be any holdups in the unforeseen event of <laughs> total atomic annihilation. <laughs> Won't take but a moment. Sure, let's do it. Splendid. Splendid. Now. Uh, let's see. Oh, I get to choose my name now. So, we will, of course, be Cran. You know, I don't like the name Cran. We'll just be male. Because that's my name backwards, so that's my name. Wonderful. Okay. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. You heard Codsworth. Go on. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. Okay, this is actually really well done. Like, I've only played it like three times and now I'm going to play it. Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir, Mom, you should come and see this. Codsworths, okay. what's Let's wrong? Grab. Let's grab you. Um. Followed by, yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes, sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with our affiliate stations. We do have, we do have coming in. That's, um, confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Oh my God. We, we need to get to the vault. Now! Oh, I'm glad Residents I that. Residents of Sanctuary Hills, if you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. Alright, we'll try to hit the wall. Wow. Bro, you're about to die, and all you care about. 
care about packing. That's absurd. I am not on the list. Cat. You don't get in. I'm going in. You can't stop sure. me. We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Good luck, hey. ma'am. God help us all. Follow me. Come on. Hey. What's going to happen to all those keep people moving. outside the gate? We're doing everything we can. Now keep moving. This way. Step on the platform in the center. My Bobby come. Okay. Almost there. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Oh my god! Hold on! Oh mother of eggnog! Step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your Excuse new me. home. Up the stairs. Vault 111. A better future Vault underground. Is here for you. Yes, up All the stairs. Yes, this way, please. please proceed in an orderly fashion. No, no, no. don't get this way. Oh. Good. Step over to the table, take a seat. You all right? This way, please. We made it. Just step over to the table. Just this way. Hey there. Welcome. Oh, sorry. Pick up a suit right uh, over first before I can take Thanks. You in. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. It's gone. See? Our home. Everything we had. Oh, you're going to love it. This oh, is God, one of our most advanced they didn't facilities. Make it. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. Time. But Vault Tech will be with you every step of the way. How long do you think we'll be down here? Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical but items we have to get to first. Vault suit is designed to be in. fashionable as well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? Oh, God, I didn't shoot that guy away. Hey there. This way, please. Just step in here and put your vault suit on. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. Time for a whole new life.
energetic array. Most residents must vacate immediately. Come on! There has to be a release! Come on, come on, come on! Oh, God! I'll find who did this. And I'll get shot back. I promise. Oh, God. Why would Vault Tech do this? Guys, read that. What the hell?
rats. I feel like that's radiation. What happened here? Where is everyone? Is this all that's left? Is that a gun? Oh, cool. Terminal somewhere. Oh, it's probably over here. Oh, so this is the overseer. This guy died. Is anyone alive? Did anyone get out? More of those things. Oh, it's on the wall. Boom! Oh, that mother of eggnog. Everyone's dead. Oh, Am I the only one left?
around for a lot. Every vault. But why would they do that? Like, it's just not cool. scavenge this place. Wow, this place is a wasteland. No! No! I don't wanna go home. No, I wanna go back to my normal home. Idiot. Why am I going down? Did I press something? Oh, must be that button.
dead body. Is that my robot? How are you still alive? As I live and breathe. Oh, no. it's, it's really you. My God, they did it. Those bastards really did it. Everything's dead. Everything's dead? Ah, yes, the garbage man. Uh, the posies have been uh, problematic, I admit. Oh, if only the missus were here to help. Where is she, by the by? They came into the vault. Maybe you saw them, armed, wearing strange outfits. <clears throat> Only Miss Rose's boy running around in his Halloween costume. More than a week early. I swear, the nerve of that woman leaving her brat unsupervised. Ha <laughs> ha, not like this family, sir. You and the missus have always been such a responsible couple. Oh, where is she, by the by? They... They killed her. Sir, it's... Uh-huh. He's gone. God damn it. Someone took him. Someone stole my son. It's worse than I thought. Mm -hmm. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, it's I'm afraid. 200 years. All right, then. 200 years? What? Are you? A, a bit over 210, actually, sir. Oh, give or take a little. For the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack? <laughs> you must be famished. Codsworth, you're acting... I... I... Oh, sir, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets out nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> nothing! And... Don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house. <laughs> and the car, the car, how do you polish rust? What do you know, Codsworth? Uh, I'm afraid I don't know anything, sir. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were dead. I did find this hollow tape. I, I believe the missus was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. A hollow tape? What's on it? I believe it's a private message for you. My etiquette protocols would not permit me to play it for myself. Any standard hollow tape reading device should be able to play it back. Oh, like that pit boy on your arm. That should work brilliantly. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? The missus and young Sean may turn up yet. All right. Lead the way. Round two, sir, sir.
bots could go crazy, but must have been wrong. Codsworth. Sean's out there, Codsworth. I need to find him. What about Concord, sir? Plenty of people there. And last I checked, they only pummeled me with sticks a few times before I had to run back home. There's still people alive in Concord? Yes, although they're a bit rough. You remember the way? Just across the southern footbridge out of the neighborhood and past the Red Rocket Station? This place must have been looted really fast. Codsworth, I mean, to the town. Concord. Listening to uh, uh, 
Diamond City Radio, if, if you're listening at all. Here's some Betty Hutton, if you were waiting to hear it. I mean, whether you were or not, if you're... Sean and I need to tell you how great of a father you are. But we're going to anyway. Isn't that right? You are kind and loving. This video is really loving. <laughs> funny. That's right. And patient. So patient. Okay. Patience of a saint, my mom used to say. Look, with Sean and us all being home together, it's been an amazing year. But even so, I know our best days are yet to come. Mm, there'll be changes, sure. Things we need to adjust to. You'll rejoin the civilian workforce, and I'll shake the dust off my law degree. But everything we do, no matter how hard, we do it for our family. Now, say goodbye, Sean. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Come on. <laughs> bye, honey. We love you. Oh, dog! Oh, my goodness. I've seen this on the hey, advertising. Boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? You want to come with me, pal? <laughs> okay, then. Let's that get together. That is so cool. Yeah. I'm back. Where's my dog or dog dog?
thought there was like something cool at this stop. This place. Okay. That's it. We're gonna work on getting power armor.